Welcome back to this. Today we're going to start something new. I have an idea of what I want to do. I know exactly what I want to do. And it should be more structured than last time. And it'll probably be a lot shorter as well. We're going to be doing an orc tank now. You might be thinking, James, you've never done this before. No, I haven't. I haven't done this before. That's the point. That's why we're doing this. So shut up. We're going to get things like the Lordstone, the Savior's Hide, and the Magic Resistance permanently from the Mara Quest and stuff like that. So that's all things we're going to be doing because you want to effectively get as... Uh, much tanky stuff here as possible and I have a list of all the stuff I want here yeah so what we want to focus on getting is the uh, agent of Mara uh, which is 50% resist magic we want the Lord stone we want the Savior's hide magic resistance and the poison resistance too. the alchemy snake blood perk which will give us another 50% will mean that we'll have a hundred percent resistance and so we won't have to play an Argonia or something like that you know that kind of thing bro um, I think as well the shield of Iskrimore because of the 20% resist magic thing and fortify health um, the Bretons naturally have I think it's something like 20% passive resistance or something like that 25% but uh, I want to play an orc because uh, Hulk go smash so so that's the idea I am going to be using the alt and start mod and there's some other small ones in here that's kind of um, not going to get in the way but it's just kind of here you know so, this one, I kind of have the idea of what we're going to go through way more. I don't know how long it's going to be. Hopefully, it's not too long. i definitely say it'll probably be between 10 and 20 episodes. Uh, I'm not doing any quest lines to the end, per se. It's more getting this base build done, knowing that I have it, and then be like, okay, at the end, I'll be like, all right, once we have all the main stuff gotten, um, here's the remaining things that we could do to add on to it. But once the main stuff's done, essentially, I think I'm done. I might just finish the game, just with the build in at that point, to say we've done the game with the build. We're just going to use a default boy, because default boys are the best. <laughs> Grow bro, nab a girl. Man, this is actually a genius name. Straight up. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at this. This is the greatest name in mankind, man. Alright, we want to make sure it's on uh, legendary. See? Legendary. Got that max mouse sensitivity up, boys, you know. All the usual settings and all that crap. There's no point in me having audio on because uh, you won't hear it anyway. There's no point. So, because music makes everything better. I'm always going to do the camping in the woods because camping in the woods, I think, is the best. We could help ourselves here and start somewhere where we get something closer. But I don't see the point. I feel like I don't want to do the vanilla start, but camping in the woods seems closest to Helgen without having to do Helgen. It basically essentially just puts us outside of it without having to do it, which is kind of nice. But yeah, hopefully this guy will go by fine. I don't know if I'm going to be doing light armor or heavy armor. Man, people keep saying race doesn't matter, right? When that is completely and utterly false. Race does matter. The power you get mixed with the fact that your skills get a boost in fives and ten points from the natural 15. You get four skills at 20 and one at 25. That's a big thing to help you out here. You know that kind of thing? I am obviously going to do sword shield or sword block and heavy armor because I already have advantages in them. I'll probably mix and put in some two handed later as well if I need to level up faster. Obviously, smithing is going to be a must, must do here because we need better heavy armor. If we're going to do heavy armor, we need to improve it. There's just no choice with that. I am going to use spells for alteration and stuff, even though we don't have any points in alteration put in like that. But alteration has magic resistance as a perk here, I think. Is this the one? Well, stone flesh is good and stuff like that, so I guess we could use, yeah. Absorb 30% of the magicka of any spell that hits you, so we need to get to 100 alteration to get that up. I can't really tell if I'm going to bother using bugs to help me speed up my progress or not yet, but we will decide on that as we go along. No, here it is. Magic resistance. This this one. We're probably only going to need around 70 or 90. Knowing the way these first tier 3 perks work and the fact that there's 3 of them, it's probably going to be 90. Uh, 30, 60, and then 90. That's how it'll go by. But yeah, I mean, that's it's kind of not too difficult what's going to be. We're probably going to utilize like our bonuses, food, stuff like that. I mean, I don't really know. But this should be fun, man. This should be fun. I am going to get the, since it's alternate start, I'm going to get the 5% well rested bonus here. Because I think it's 8 hours it lasts for or something like that. Uh, we can check here. Yeah, we get 5% for 8 hours. So we're just going to get to Helgen and get to Journal. Just to have the Helgen part out of the way with because I do want to get into Whiterun. And I do want dragons soon enough. Uh, this, again, obviously is the first episode, so it's kind of the planning on what we're going to do and stuff like that. But I know what I'm going to do this time. I have all the things I need. When it comes to the exact skills, I know what I'm going to be doing. 
Uh, it's a big boy orc, so, I mean, it's pretty obvious what we're going to be doing with a big boy orc. I'm not going to be using archery or stealth. It's just not going to happen this time. I want you all to know that. I'm not changing my mind later and changing to it. I'm not doing it. If I run into a wall, because again, because I finished that one there, and I can say I finished it, you know, you learn a lot doing them. All right, so we've read the journal. So now all we got to do is head on to uh, Riverwood and go to the Standing Stones. I want to get the Lord Stone soon enough-ish, but we're going to have to go up the, go to the Vigilant of Stendar home place, and then we're going to have to climb up the mountain from there. Since they're early game bandits, it won't be too bad, but, you know, the sooner we get it, the better. For now, I'll take the warrior stone because we can get our warrior skills up a little bit faster. And again, there's no reason for us not to have progress until we, um, you know, get to the Lord Stone. We have all the time in the world, you know, it's not like we're getting to level 81 or anything like that. So I don't know if I'd call this a challenge or anything. It's more a restriction. It's definitely a specific build type we're doing, obviously. And I haven't made a story for this character because, I mean, grow nab, grow bur, grow bro nab a girl, you know, ma'am? Wait, okay, let's get the stone before we start fighting this guy. Also, all I have is a bow and, yeah, I don't want to use the bow. I'm just not using archery. My guy does not know how to use a bow, so he will not take up a bow. He's more liable to cut his finger off pulling the string. See, we're kind of, we should probably just make a sprint for, um, Riverwood at this point. We'll get our combat skills 20% faster. Because I have nothing to fight him with and I'm not going to beat him with my fists. That's not gonna happen. There's no point in trying that. I think there's a woodcutter's axe here though. Technically we could try and use this. And the thing with the powers I was saying earlier by the way is, right, you can just wait 24 hours and reset your power. It's 24 seconds, it's not a big deal. And you know, boom, you have it back. Again, I could, I could mess something up again, you know, that kind of thing. There's always the chance, but alteration. I mean, I'm going to use restoration. I'm just not going to not do that because I mean, let's be honest, shut up. I'm using restoration. There's not much more to it than that. And uh, the stone flesh spells obviously are going to help mega, 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 mega help. So I have them to equip. Uh, let me get my woodcutter's axe. The first person I kill is a man with an axe, man. Imagine that. Six goddamn health. Right, let's see how we do here. Jesus Christ, man. I guess we'll just use Berserker's Rage here now because why not? He's still doing damage to us. He could still kill us here very easily. No, he actually won't, man. Even with the woodcutter's axe, you can actually see the damage coming out here because of the power. But see, now what you want to do is, let's say you wait an hour. All right, the spell's gone. Now we're going to take all this stuff, all right? Now let's say you wait... Obviously, this is a bit tedious, but let's say we'll wait 23 hours, all right? Yes, you used it, but this is why the race is important. You have this power which can absolutely change any combat instance you come across. And that's the main thing that you get from this. Being able to just change the situation is pretty goddamn dope. Now, we did get a steel war axe. So, this is 10 and that's 6, so we don't need to use that anymore. But as you can see, we have Berserker's Rage back up. Yes, we wasted 24 seconds, but it's 24 seconds that I will get a level or two out of coming down here, but it obviously would be better if we had a shield. But I'm going to be doing a lot of spamming my power at the beginning because why wouldn't I abuse the power I have, you know, that kind of thing. So we're going to make a save here just before Ember Shard and mine going into it. I would like to do a character with all the knowledge I have that efficient, efficiently... Yeah, see, so what we want to do is favorite the axe here again. And we're going to take out um, our Berserker Rage again. Kill this guy first. Yeah, so this is... this. It's kind of mad how Berserker Rage kind of just changes the values so it feels like you're on a dip. Without Berserker's Rage, man, you do half the damage, obviously, because that's, that's his power. <laughs> it's double damage, but still. Gonna take their weapons for now. I feel like a mace would be more suited. Yeah, the mace is 22 damage as well. It's not 22. It's doubled because of, um, that's not too bad, so. We'll pick up any little gold bags we come across and stuff like that as well. I'm not gonna be putting any points into speech or lock picking or pickpocket or anything like that because our big grubby green hands will not do such a mean thing. Uh, again, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before just in case because again, once there's multiple enemies, you know, going to have to do this until we get better armor. It's just gonna be the way it is. I think what we'll work on doing is getting a better shield as soon as possible and start grinding out smithing stuff like that i do want to know for the things like grinding smithing should i do that outside of the episodes or should we do them during the episodes that's more kind of what i want to wonder are you guys preferring not seeing the grind or would you prefer to see the grind oh wait they were behind me because oh right that's why yeah yeah, yeah that makes sense man seriously berserker's rage is just so goddamn powerful look at this like let me go to the other bandit over here quickly so I don't have to like restart and fight him separately and struggle. Yeah, here he is. Let's just beat this guy down quickly with the mace. Man, the mace the mace should make a crushing skull kind of thing. Now, there's one more guy over here. He's only one hit away from dying, so it doesn't matter. Double power attack. But I came out on top, boy. Right, he's an iron mace. He's some gold and a lockpick, so we'll take them. Not gonna learn any new spells either. 
just going to take them. Well, I am going to learn new spells, but not the ones I don't need. I'll just sell them. I'll take this because I can't be arsed, uh lock picking right now. Oh, we got sparks from that. Not too bad. We'll have to get some vegetable soup and stuff like that. It's not hard to make, man. It's like potatoes, leeks. It's just a few vegetables. I think it's tomatoes. I can't really remember. But I'm going to go make a bulk amount of them in, uh, when I go back to... When I go to Whiterun after this. I just want to go through Riverwood into Whiterun. That's kind of my objective here. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to wait 24 hours. This is the last time I'm going to have to do it anyway, because there's only a few of these guys here. There's no heavy armor in any guys here. Usually I get my first set of heavy armor by either crafting it at one of the shop, stealing the stuff from Alvor in Riverwood, or um, going to the tower just outside of... Oh, what's it called? Outside of Bleak Falls Barrow, because there's always a bandit that has it there. Let's just kill this bandit before I use my power. Oh man, and we have a level up, so we can just get more health out of it. What we'll do here is I'll put a point into health, obviously, because that's what we want to do. Although I should early game be putting stuff into Magicka. And we will put a point... Oh, I won't bother with heavy armor yet. We'll just do one-handed. Focus on damage. 20% more damage from that. We'll take the Iron Greatsword because it's a double one. Not that we're going to use it yet, but still. Alright, so we used our Berserker's Rage again here. Man, two-handed bandit. Look how little damage he's doing to us on Legendary. Like, this is Legendary, right? Oh, yeah. It is. That's just how absolutely unbelievably powerful... Uh... Oh, that's a Steel Warhammer. Nice, nice, nice. We'll take that. Keep that for later. We're getting next to no points of healing from this. I usually get a level when I go through Ember Shard anyway. It doesn't take a lot to level up the first few times. Man, I'll scour these sacks for any food we can get because if we can, like, not have to buy... I know I'm gonna have to buy a vegetable. I know one will be missing. There's always one. Oh, we got an iron helmet from that. It's kind of cool because once you wear... Oh, we have we got two rings from the sack. We got a ring of minor striking. And we got a ring of minor stamina. I'll take the ring of minor stamina. That's 25 protection and that's 25. Yeah. Well, at least we'll get our heavy armor up just by wearing a helmet, which is kind of cool. There's a chest down here I want to get. Uh, it's over here. The only thing I ever found lockpicking useful for was just leveling me up naturally. And that's it because it's just a passive thing you level up with. This is the last time I'll have to actually wait for this power because of the three wolves that are coming up. Other than that, before we get to White Run, I think there's like two wolves. I think that's the last enemy before we get up to Dragon's Reach. Uh, we have Berserker Rage back up, man. Let me let me see if we can see these wolves because we've gone a bit too far and there's no point in us not killing them because it'll progress us a bit further and we want to maximize exactly what we do each time we play it's kind of mad how much damage the like it's it's the steel weapons are just naturally great yeah so we're gonna have to use berserker's rage here because we're nearly dead because it just kind of starts stacking up which is kind of annoying and we just use dual healing here i guess there'd be no harm in getting the dual cast later there's another one over here yeah Sometimes I just go down into the river for some reason. And he's kind of stuck down here because his pathfinding doesn't work too well down here. There we go. And it's some free wolf pelts. Because of the way alternate start works, usually I don't get the free stuff option from Alvor. Unless we get Hadver and Rayloff. Well, wh whichever one suits whoever. Him or Girder. Uh, look at this pricky looking dude here. I'm going to come back and take his soul later. Alright, let's talk to him and get this. A dragon attacked Helgen. And we'll progress on to Whiterun so we just have this. So the, mim the minute I want to get dragons unlocked so I can get shouts and stuff like that, we'll be able to. See, I'd like to get these and at least make the armor. But I don't think that's going to happen right now. Who's that running over there? See in the distance there? I'll come back to Bleak Falls later, man. Affect that for now. I think there's only a wolf or two on the way to it, if I'm not mistaken. We could punch a guard and just get to Dragon's Reach immediately. I mean, no matter what. Why is there a familiar here? What? A mercenary. Is it just a random encounter or whatever? Like, who's here? Mercenary. Help the mercenary. What? What is Quest at Salt Stream Camp? Oh, I think this might be with the notice board mod or something. That's a shame. I'll go and clear a halt. I usually clear out halter stream camps like relatively quickly as well. So pretend that didn't happen. I forgot I had that enabled. I'll disable it after this. See, now I don't think I will. Because I was going to say, the only thing I've ever seen these roads are these. I've seen my Eek up there once on my way here. Only once though. Because he's always spawned in the world somewhere. You know, I won't bother getting thingy because I want the stables. Watch it. I'm going to get a free speech check off this now. For Hey, there we go. Look at that. 16. I'll take Aaron's quest here anyway. Because, again, free one-handed. No harm in doing that. Oh, that's Vault Time Keep. That's not too bad. I was kind of hoping it would do something. I called the stream cancer. Maybe it detected that I already had something there. So, I'll take us all this uh, quest as well as a reminder. Because I'll be going to hold the streams anyway. Anyway, first episode done. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. All that good stuff. Uh, I look forward to seeing what we can do with this. This was just the basics. Kind of out of the way. So, that was pretty cool. I do want to say a big thank you to anybody who's watches my channel at tier one numbnuts get good tiffany lee sven grun rodrigo 
you go, Cataphractus, LNSTRR, Dragonfire481, the one and only Dree, Like it and please sub, Sam Revis, Aviator, Nathan Scarborough, Jess Ambrose, Elf Daughter Crafts, Count Andrek, Beelin, Zane Harrison, Dustin Ognowski, and Victoria Breyer. Thank you. You guys are super cool. I appreciate you. Uh, to those at Tier 2, Vid Begonia, JA Tech, Mike from Texas, Bo Zephyr, Marietta Flore, Wade, Dan the Indoor Man, Metaspedo, Evie Rubin, David, that German guy, Morgan Gibbs, Noah Bird, Weather Seed, Staz, Poet Fox, G Danny, Michael McCall, and Zachary Fluke, and Jar Jar. Thank you. You're all super cool too, bro. And a big, big thank you to the Tier 3 guys Shaley Benton, Sensekarin, Monkey Egg, Jerome the Sheep, Der Kaiser, Perturb Dork, Orion, Isafor, Kale Bar, Just a Random Otaku, and Caius. Thank you all. If you want to become a sponsor, Hit the join button below. It's entirely up to you, or watch for free. I don't mind, but um, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you later.